In the vast cosmic ocean, two intrepid explorers embarked on a journey unlike any other. This is the story of the Voyager missions, a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were destined to become our eyes and ears in the unexplored realms of our solar system and beyond. These weren't just machines, they were emissaries to the cosmos, carrying the hopes and dreams of a species yearning to understand its place in the universe. Their mission, to explore the giant planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. It was a mission that would rewrite textbooks and redefine our understanding of the cosmos. The Voyagers were pioneers, venturing into the unknown with instruments designed to unravel the secrets of these celestial giants. They carried cameras to capture the beauty of these distant worlds. They carried sensors to study their magnetic fields, atmospheres and rings. But the Voyager's journey wouldn't end there. They were destined to go where no spacecraft had gone before, into the vast expanse of interstellar space. Their voyage would be long and perilous, fraught with challenges that would test the limits of human engineering Yet, the Voyagers would persevere, sending back data that would revolutionize our understanding of the universe and inspire generations to come. Their story is a testament to the power of human ambition and the boundless possibilities of space exploration. The Voyager spacecraft were marvels of engineering designed to withstand the harsh conditions of deep space and the intense radiation belts around the gas giants. Their creation was a testament to human ingenuity, a symphony of science and technology conducted by the brilliant minds at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Each spacecraft, weighing in at just under 2,000 pounds, was equipped with a suite of scientific instruments. These instruments were chosen to unveil the secrets of the outer planets and their moons, to study their atmospheres, magnetic fields and ring systems. Cameras were included to capture the breathtaking beauty of these distant worlds. Powering these instruments was a critical challenge. Solar panels, the typical choice for spacecraft, wouldn't suffice in the dim reaches of the outer solar system. Instead, the Voyagers relied on the steady decay of plutonium-238 in their radioisotope thermoelectric generators, or RTGs. These RTGs provided a reliable source of power, allowing the Voyagers to continue their mission long after their initial design lifespan. But the Voyagers were more than just sophisticated machines, they were designed to be adaptable. Engineers knew that unforeseen challenges would arise during their long journey, therefore the spacecraft were built with redundant systems and the ability to be reprogrammed from Earth, ensuring their survival and continued operation in the unforgiving depths of space. The launch of the Voyagers was a carefully orchestrated ballet. Voyager 2 took flight first on August 20th, 1977, followed by Voyager 1 on September 5th. This order might seem counterintuitive, but it was a strategic decision based on their planned trajectories. Voyager 1, on a faster trajectory, would ultimately overtake Voyager 2, reaching Jupiter first. This precise timing was crucial for maximizing their scientific return. The Voyager's journey through the outer solar system was nothing short of breathtaking. Their encounters with Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune revealed worlds of staggering beauty and complexity. Each planet held its own unique wonders, and the Voyagers were there to witness them all. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, was their first encounter. The Voyagers revealed the intricate details of Jupiter's swirling cloud belts, its iconic Great Red Spot and the volcanic activity on its moon Io. For the first time, humanity saw the raw power and beauty of this gas giant up close. Saturn, with its majestic rings, was next. The Voyagers revealed the intricate structure of the rings, composed of countless icy particles. They discovered new moons and studied the thick atmosphere of Titan, a moon with the potential for life-giving chemistry. Uranus, the ice giant, presented its own unique challenges. The Voyagers studied its tilted axis and faint ring system, providing the first detailed images of this distant world. They discovered new moons and revealed the complex dynamics of its magnetic field. Finally, the Voyagers reached Neptune, the outermost planet in our solar system. They captured images of its dark storms and studied its moon, Triton, with its nitrogen geysers and icy surface. 
Neptune marked the end of their planetary encounters, but the Voyager's journey was far from over. The Voyager's observations of the outer planets revolutionized our understanding of these celestial giants. They revealed worlds of unimaginable beauty and complexity, forever changing our perspective on our place in the cosmos. Their discoveries continue to inspire new generations of scientists and explorers, pushing the boundaries of human knowledge and understanding. Section 4, A New Frontier into the Interstellar Ocean Having completed their grand tour of the outer planets, the Voyagers embarked on a new and even more audacious mission to explore the interstellar medium, the space between the stars. This region, once thought to be a vast and empty void, is now known to be teeming with particles and magnetic fields. Crossing the boundary between our solar system and interstellar space, known as the Heliopause, was a monumental achievement. Voyager 1 achieved this milestone on August 25, 2012, becoming the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. Voyager 2 followed suit on November 5, 2018, confirming and expanding upon Voyager 1's observations. In this uncharted territory, the Voyagers continue to send back invaluable data. They are measuring the density and temperature of the interstellar plasma, studying the interaction between the solar wind and the interstellar medium. They are also listening for the faint whispers of distant stars, hoping to detect the telltale signs of cosmic events. The data they collect is helping us to understand the nature of interstellar space, the birthplace of stars and planets. It is providing us with clues about the history of our galaxy and the processes that led to the formation of our own solar system. The Voyager's journey into the interstellar ocean is a testament to the enduring power of human curiosity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. Section 5. A Message in a Bottle. The Golden Record. Attached to each Voyager spacecraft is a golden record, a message in a bottle cast into the cosmic ocean. It is a testament to humanity's hope that we are not alone in the universe and our desire to share our story with any extraterrestrial civilizations that may find it. The record contains a curated collection of sounds and images that represent the diversity of life and culture on Earth. There are greetings in 55 languages, music from different cultures and eras, and sounds of nature. It also includes 115 images carefully encoded in analog form depicting everything from human anatomy to the wonders of the natural world. Selecting the contents of the Golden Record was a daunting task, undertaken by a committee chaired by the renowned astronomer Carl Sagan. They aimed to create a message that would be both understandable and engaging to an alien intelligence, a snapshot of humanity's achievements and aspirations. The record also includes a pulsar map providing a cosmic address for our planet. Using the unique pulsation rates of 14 pulses as reference points, any civilization capable of interstellar travel should be able to triangulate the location of our solar system. The golden record is a poignant reminder of our shared humanity and our place in the vastness of the cosmos. It is a message of hope and curiosity, a testament to our belief that life may exist beyond Earth and our desire to connect with it.